Online downloading. High street discounters. How can an independent shop compete? Spencer Hickman runs Rough Trade Records off London's Brick Lane. Stores that are doing the same as us, you know, offering free in-store shows for bands. Um, we've got a coffee shop. We've got an area where we can have book readings and signings. A huge amount of people who still want to come in and buy physical products, still want to chat to people behind a counter. While Rough Trade thrives, much of the industry is struggling just to survive. In the past five years, overall record sales of recorded music have fallen 30% worldwide. In 2005, there were about 900 independent record shops in Britain. Today, there are less than 300. But it's a different track at Rough Trade. Their sales are up 17% year over year. And customers seem happy to keep coming back. Half the time I come in here and I, I walk out with two or three things I, I had no idea about that someone here will recommend to me on the, on the basis of what I've already bought. Like shops like this make people want to buy music from stores. One way they do that is with Record Store Day, a celebration of independent music shops around the world. Lori Anderson, best known for her 80s electronic sound, is currently performing at the Barbican. On Saturday, she'll play live at Rough Trade for Record Store Day. Independent record shops and labels um, is, a, is still a really great scene. You know, the, the really big conglomerate record companies are gone. And that's good news for stores like this that have adapted to hard times to keep the money coming in. Olivia Stearns, Bloomberg News.